1994 death of Kurt Cobain and the dissolution of Nirvana, Novoselic, who also has a band called Sweet 75, launched Jam Pack, the Joint Artist and Music Promotions Political Action Committee, which is designed to fight censorship and advance the political interests of Washington State rock musicians. Jam Pack is one of 4,000 political action committees, PACs, in the U.S. They gave a combined $173 million to congressional candidates in the 1994 elections alone. Jam Pack, which currently lobbies only state and local politicians, has received contributions from Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, several major record labels, and MTV. I followed Novoselic and Jam Pack through a day in their life to see how packs work. <laughs> In the past two years, Seattle bands have sold over 160 million records. When you combine all that money coming into the community with the hundreds of jobs they've created in terms of managers, promoters, and club owners, it's no wonder Chris Novoselic decided it was time to play to the politicians instead of the fans. To me, starting a political action committee was more about myself looking around and, and considering my resources. And then I saw that I had a lot of exposure with the press and the media, so I thought I'd exploit that. Why not? I get, it, I get it anyway, I could sit around here and talk to you about my new car, but that's really boring, so I thought I'd maybe you can get something engaging and have something good come out of it. Explain to me what a PAC is. A uh, political action committee is an organization that uh, basically gets involved in politics by um, contributing to campaigns, and um, not only financially, but through getting involved in a campaign. Hi, I'm Travis Lassoran from MTV. Howdy. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. Good to see you. PACs try to convince politicians to see things and vote their way. Members of Jam Pack do this by meeting with city councilmen and state senators, having lunch and very simply telling them how they feel. Jam Pack's main goal is fighting censorship, but they'd also like to create a state music office. People are just becoming aware of the impact of the music industry here in the Northwest. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we'd like to do is, is see if we could get governmental agencies working with us to, you know, promote that, promote music tourism, promote music business as a business that we want to bring to the Northwest. And some of the things that we are able to do, I mean, beyond just being a financial contribution, um, Jam Pack is willing to do, we've done a lot of voter registration. We registered close to 7,000 people to vote now since about this time last year. And um, we do a series of phone banks prior to primaries and general elections to get those people out to vote. Do you have a problem with anything that they've done or anything that they plan? I mean, do you agree with their enti Jam Pack's entire agenda? I think on the music office, I th right now, you know, th there's a lot of th there's a lot of programs that we're cutting in the state, and and a lot of good programs that we're cutting in the state, and a lot of programs, well, every program that we cut, people come in and they say, there's a good economic argument for having this program around, and I, I think it'd be, it'd be tough to create a music office at the same time we're cutting those other programs. Jam Pack's efforts, like every other political action committees, can be interpreted as buying votes with money. Although Novoselic sees his foray into politics as a grassroots effort to fight censorship, critics charge that he and the wealthy Seattle music scene are throwing around cash to protect their own interests. Well, is there any difference meeting with Jam Pack than meeting with a Boeing lobbyist or a Microsoft lobbyist? Um, yeah, the Microsoft lobbyists, the Boeing lobbyists have a whole lot more clout. You know, and some of that's legitimate and some of it's not. I mean, if they've got a concern, yeah, I'm going to listen to that concern because they employ 100,000 people and probably create another 200,000 jobs. Politicians can be corrupted by money, but they could also be corrupted by celebrity. Do you feel like that's an issue for you? No, because if a politician's corrupt, they're corrupt, you know. But that's that's the whole thing about corruption in government. I think there's this popular misconception that they're all just a bunch of rats and scoundrels. And sure, I've met a few rats, but I've met a lot of wonderful, hardworking, committed people who, who really do care. Both my kids asked uh, for me to get uh, your autograph before you leave today. If we have people who are well known, um, who do care about issues, who are working through the process and affecting the process, then it also says you, whether you're well known or not, can also have that impact. Basically, it's about freedom of expression with music and supporting people who can see the potential and how wonderful a miracle that music is. 
Nova Selich and his band, Sweet 75, are at work on a debut album. Meanwhile, a bill to ban all political action committees is now working its way through Congress, and if it should pass, it's expected to be challenged in the courts on First Amendment grounds. Our Choose or Lose boss, on the other hand, will be spending the week of May 20th in Florida after a May 18th stop in New Orleans, and we need volunteers to help register new voters. If you're interested, call 212-258-7411 for information. In other political news you may have lately...